What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drop the heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to get a realistic shading technique down pack. The program we're using is called Clip Studio Paint. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Get this pen tool, the G pen. We're gonna make some, we're gonna make some clean lines. I'm gonna go ahead and like sketch out like a face. Just a little, a little something, something. And I move my stabilizer all the way up. And sometimes, uh, if you want to get more control, you can move it down some. We just gonna make a face for this tutorial. It ain't gonna be too perfect. Just a little some some. Almost got my face finished. Let's see, we're going to shrink it down some. Say about right there. Click OK. move a stabilizer down some so we can have a, a little more control to just freestyle Now we got a we got a dope looking it's something quick so we can get to the main part. Now watch this. Wait, I'm gonna move it kind of in the center. Now we finna get to the color. And what you wanna do? You wanna add a new layer. your line work to the top and the great thing about this program is you can just drop the color in and instead of doing all the steps you would in Adobe Illustrator you can just drop it in and it automatically fall inside of the work even if it's not on the same layer so that's pretty dope so what we're gonna do is We're gonna make sure. I'm 
go back to our G pin. Move the stabilizer down. We're gonna make it a little wider. Just gonna make sure we got it. Cut off this layer. We're gonna cut off our line work layer. And now what we're gonna do? You wanna come over here to your your auto select tool. And you wanna click onto the color layer. And now we're gonna find like a darker, just a darker color for the shadows. And you can bring your line work back. We just did that so we can make a clean selection around our <laughs> clean selection around our color. And we can add a new layer for our shadows. So what you want to do, you want to come over here to your your airbrush tool. With so what you want to do is you want to go to your airbrush. Go to your airbrush tool and you want to click this soft like the soft brush you want to select that and we gonna we're gonna keep our hardness on one let's see how big I want my brush then we're gonna bring the density down so we can have a you want to try to start light and go in darker so now we're gonna start adding our shadows. And what I like to do is after I blend it a little bit like this, I right click on my mouse so I can select the light color so we can keep the same flow going. a little smaller so we can get in these little tight spots Now we're gonna, we're gonna go a little darker. That's what I do with my shades. I just keep building on top of it from light to dark. Let's make this brush a little thicker. Now we're going to right click and we're going to select the color closest to the, the brightest skin tone.
Now we're going to bring the density down. We're going to make our brush bigger. We're going to stay closer to the edge on this side. I got density a little lower. We're just gonna shape out the structure of his face with the shadows. But we ain't gonna do too go go too hard. a little smaller and we're gonna make our hardness up one and then we're gonna bring our density back up a little bit make our brush a little bigger highlights on the face so you want to add another layer above the shadow and you want to get a bright color that kind of that'll flow good with the skin tone and we're gonna bring the old density I mean the hardness down and we're gonna bring the uh, density down too and we're gonna make our brush not too big Make our brush a little smaller. Now we're going to take this auto select off. Another thing I do too, I like to after I color everything and I'm trying to color something else so this other stuff won't get in the way, I turn it off, I turn all the layers off and I just leave my line work on top so it'll be easier to color, it's easy to drop color inside of We just gonna color this manually. Stick this in the back of everything. Okay. 
gonna get out our airbrush tool. Go to our soft brush. We're gonna bring the hardness up some. Make it a little smaller. We just gonna We almost got our character. Complete. Thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little shine in the eyes. We're gonna add a layer on top of our line work. We're gonna get the color white. gonna bring the hardness down make our brush a little thicker and all you do is when you shading you just keep building care to complete it go ahead and hit that like button comment subscribe more heat coming soon and I'm out this thing